I was awake at 20 minutes after five this morning before the birds even started singing and hopped in the shower and got ready to rock. And I was really glad I was able to get into town and get to my Aldi store. I have not done that in a while. I haven't done it by myself in quite a while. And wanted to show you a couple of few things. They had large bags, some pretty good sized bags of oranges for a buck thirty-eight. That was a really good deal. And then these containers of grapes. They were in really nice condition and they were a buck fifty-eight for two pounds. You can't shake that and can't, can't I'm sorry, you can't beat that with a stick. And then I'm thinking, let's see what this is about the strawberries. Just take a gander at this for a minute. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's huge. You can kind of see how big it is if you put it on top of the container. Anyways, they have one pound containers. Of, now you can kind of tell a little bit better. And one pound containers of strawberries, which were on my receipt. Let's see where they go. I'm sorry, I thought I had that. They were, those are about 49. I guess they're a little bit more than I thought. And also, they have this Berry Hill Hot Fudge Topping. The only reason that I wanted to show you that, the price wasn't too stupendous. Stupendous, it was a buck ninety-nine, but it was the type of jar it's in, and it's looking like a pint jar to me. can't read that. If it's not, I'll let you know. Anyway, um, the other thing that I bought was at the Dollar Tree. And they have these boxes of regular and lemon pound cake. And um, this had 12 slices. Two of them disappeared someplace. Um, but this is kind of really nice to have around for strawberry shortcake. And um, they even had the whipped cream in a can. And I'm not seeing what that was right this second. I'll put it below if I find it in a few minutes. But they had the um, they had the tortilla chips, the white restaurant triangle triangle shaped tortilla chips, and those were ninety nine. And butter quarters we were a buck ninety nine. Just I just was really thinking that this was pretty good. Um, I buy paper plates there. The glass cleaner was eighty nine. This is some cereal salsa. Pancakes mix, mix, I think it was two pounds, a dollar forty-eight. The flour this week was a buck forty-eight. And I like that a little bit better than I remembered. So let's see what's there. Anyways, the navel oranges. Nice size bags for a dollar thirty-eight. I got several of those. And um, okay, well, I'll get back with it later. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little encouragement today because the prices are going up on so many other things. Gasoline. <laughs> Anybody buy gas? Anybody buy gas lately? So uh, it kind of gets me, kind of gets me a little bit discouraged when I get really great values at the store with the grocery items, and then I think about how much we spend on other things, like you know the amount of money I've spent on dental work trying to keep teeth in my mouth my whole life. But uh, that was about the end of that. We did three strong, healthy adults tried to open the the jar of mandarin oranges to no avail. <laughs> we could not get them open. So they're still in the refrigerator looking pretty. I even had my friend's daughter try it when she was here. So really, this is just a little update and a little encouragement. Those are prices that I got today. And I bought a lot of other things that I was really tickled with. There's another kind of a specialty food store. I had a lot of fun in there because Discover Card gave us uh, two $20 gift cards as like a cash back thing. So I had $40 I spent in there. didn't have any trouble doing that at all. Um, so all in all, it was a good deal. And like I said, we have 86 degrees here. So <laughs> the house is, house is plenty cool as long as you don't open the doors. So I just wanted to encourage you. I know it's a, it's a little bit overwhelming when you see the damage in Mexico and other places from that was from the um, the earthquakes and also from around the country from the tornado damages. And I'm waiting to see what happened with Louisiana tonight when I turned the news on because they were inundated with an awful lot of rain as was East Texas the other day. So I've had a lot of things going on. 
and I wish the best for those of you who are in the affected areas. It's kind of funny because um, I knew there was an earthquake coming. <laughs> you might not think that they can predict earthquakes, but you know they say that the animals make strange noises and so forth before an earthquake hits. Well, my pain level like quadruples. And so I always know that there's either a tornado coming or an earthquake. And I think it was Sunday I said, there's either a tornado or an earthquake or maybe both. And ended up being tornadoes and earthquakes. And somewhere not too far from where we're located, they had um, softball size hail, they said. It's kind of out in the country. And in some other areas, you could a lot of tornado damage as well. So I'm wishing you well and just giving you a little poke in the ribs to keep finding the things that um, keeps finding the things that there are good prices on. I really wouldn't mind getting a bunch of strawberries like this and you know just capping them and freezing them and do, there's no reason you can't do that. I mean, I always think you have to go pick them. You know, we always pick them, but. Um, so I was really tickled pink with some of the prices that I'm still finding. It's not every item every day, but the milk is a really good price too. So and there are places in the country that they're paying almost four dollars a gallon for milk, and I think I paid well. It's probably on my list. I probably not be able to find it quick enough. Uh, evaporated milk was sixty nine cents, I think, still. And um, I don't think I'm gonna see that quick enough. So that's all for now. If I find the price of the milk, I'll, I'll put it below. But we're generally, it was cheaper than I thought because we generally are paying two forty nine for milk and it wasn't that much. But anyway, I hope you all had a happy St. Patrick's Day. I had a, one of those primal urges to get into my kitchen. So I got into the kitchen and pulled out the ingredients and made a batch of that French bread that's in Great Depression, the Great Depression Video 5. And it just... It was kind of a good day Saturday, too, because I figured out my convection oven. I don't think I said this before, my convection oven, my bigger convection oven. It's a Farberware, older, older, older model. And I thought it was ruined forever and ever, and turns out it was not ruined forever and ever. So that was like a good thing. It just, I had turned it completely off all the way, so when I turned it back on, it wasn't working. So the convection oven works. Both of them work. <laughs> Both of them work when we get a house full of company, then the cookies are flying in and out of those convection ovens and the french fries and the pizza and so on and so on and so forth. So I wish you well and keep working on your goals and keep making a list and checking it twice so you can eat more than just beans and just rice. I'm still looking at that price. I don't see it. She has a light on so I can see what I'm doing. So I hope it wasn't too hot where you were, where you are. And... Um, Oh, anyways, back to the bread. So, so I made this batch of French bread and made five of these little baby loaves. They're about that big, too, so that they'd be rice quicker and they'd be done quicker. And then I took some, some of that raw unfiltered honey and kind of whipped it up in a dish with some butter and dipped it in there. It was really, really good. So that's all I know. And uh, please keep us posted. I uh, probably will have some more new information coming next week. I didn't do too many videos this week, but I'm um, working on a few things. So hopefully that will be up and coming soon. And if you have questions, the answers are probably in the 388 plus videos. But if you have other questions, let us know. There was a lady, uh, I wrote a bulletin about this. Now I'm going to have a match podge of topics here, but there was a lady on our channel and she had a problem with some of her Mylar bags. They were, I think, the size to fit a five-gallon bucket. She was having problems with the seal. With She thought the oxygen absorbers weren't working. And then we exchanged a few emails back and forth or messages. And she examined them more closely and found out that when she had sealed, I should have made a separate video. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to retitle this. <laughs> Um, when she had sealed her Mylar bags, she did it with an iron on high with a level. Um, that's kind of a guy way. It's kind of a guy way of doing things. I hate to say that, but it's really true. Uh, what you probably will want to do instead of that is to use a lower heat because I found it took not very much heat at all with the times that I did it. Not very much heat at all with a close iron, so I generally had it on low. And... Um, and I put a folded towel underneath it. Now, there's a long, complicated reason that I probably won't go into here. 
as to why I put a towel under it instead of something that was a hard surface. But the basic reason is because you get some flexibility underneath that bag. So when the iron is on the top and you get the bag in the middle and you have the towel on the bottom, it makes, it's kind of contradictory, but it makes it so that um, you get a more complete seal or you're more likely to get a complete seal is what I guess I should say. Um, so what I did in the past with the one gallon size bags, this would be not very workable with a, with a five gallon bag, but with a one gallon size uh, foil pouches, I would open a kitchen drawer, lay a folded towel down on top of the utensils in the top of the drawer and put the bag in the drawer, put the, the folded towel on the countertop right next to it and then flatten out the end of the bag and lay it down on the towel as best I could and then take the moderately low uh, clothing iron and I, I like to try to turn the iron kind of on the edge so it's, the, it's like the corner of the iron going against the bag. That's not a very good example there but um, because it makes a narrower seal. If you use the proper equipment, which is an impulse sealer, which many of you don't have access to, um, those are designed to seal the bags properly, but they also have a more of a narrow seal. With a clothing iron, you're generally going to get a seal about that wide. So if your seal is more like half an inch wide, then you could conceivably when you open it, cut just below the seal and it will leave you enough room to reuse the bag several times over and they're very much reusable. You may have to um, wipe the residue from the top of the inside of the bag when you reuse it to reseal it. But as long as you have a new oxygen absorber and new product to put in your bag, then there's no reason they can't be used over and over again or cut up and made into smaller bags. So now we're up to 12 minutes. That was not how I had planned it. This is usually what happens is I go from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. So um, just a little, I will probably go back and check this video and find out where that uh, Mylar bag information starts and then label it as such so it can be found. Because lately when I go to make a second video, it doesn't work. You get one a day and the second one doesn't work. So did not mean to drag that out. Uh, if you have any other questions about uh, using the Mylar bags, uh, let us all know and we will all try to answer your questions because I'm obviously not the only person here who has some experience and some answers. I will highly recommend the videos on um, why canning jars don't seal and why canning jars sometimes break because there's a lot of really good information in those. So if you're going to enter uh, the canning season, either as a beginner or not, uh, you might find something in there will be a benefit to you. And Yes, that's all. God bless you and yours, and we will be talking to you probably in the next few days. Take care. Thanks.